thinks of Sicily, really, who's not... I, most people will think of Palermo because it's the number one popular city. It's where True. all the photos. It's the post. It's the postcard city. It's the postcard city on the island. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, kind of like a, a city that's kind of along a uh, shoreline. You know, mm-hmm. I think it's like hillside shoreline sort of stuff. You know, is there an actual beach or is it all like volcanic? Uh, I'm pretty sure rocks? it's. I'm pretty sure it's beach. There's place. Yeah, there's places to swim. It's gonna be too cold, but. Tell me what I can't do. I'm gonna go in that water anyways. Poles, beaches, hot tub stream, baby. Amaranth's retiring. I'm moving in. There's a lot of seats here. You really not see here on this camera? The better perspective. How does I'm not a regular enough? viewer, well, but anytime it, I see it, it, your it, Earl it, streams fine. and traveling, it makes me smile. How about that? Keep doing you. Slash Shaw, so rich and see our feelings on point. Thanks for the content, boys. Less than three. You know, this place, this is, there were a bunch of settlers that came here, and, uh, They were great. They, they were trading resources like crazy. Great settlers. Yeah. Uh, they settled here. They were trading wood. Yep. Sheep. Sheep. Better? Sometimes thieves would come through. It's actually really scary. You know, we should live in a world where spices were still, like, a valuable currency, you know? And yeah, we were just trading it, like, give you a little bit of too much. Frankincense. Mm-hmm. Myrrh. The whole barter system. We'd be like playing Zelda, we'd be going in going into little huts to like trade our spices for it, gems. <laughs> yeah. It's it's crazy. I mean like Bro, uh, I feel like I would be bad at it though. Well, what would be your resource? Pokemon cards. No, when I was when I was a kid, I made some bad Pokemon trades. Then I start, you know, you get ripped off once, and then you really start learning how to make the good trades. But think about the barter system, how much you needed to know. You needed to know a lot, because it wasn't like you were just trading it in, like, Pokemon cards, where you need to know, like, how you got scammed. You need to know the spices, you need to know beads, you need to know blankets, you need to know lint, like, you need to know everything. The way knowledge gets spread, though, if you go up to a stand and they're trading salt, they'll tell you how much blank you need for how much salt. It's like, this shit's not hard to learn. It's just all about the people and communicating. Then you gotta go to another stall, right? To make sure you're not getting ripped off. Yeah. But back then, you got killed if you ripped people off. Did you? I think people had a little bit... I would be a mere shepherd. That's what, I'd be a mere shepherd out there. And now, what I would do is I'd be a mere shepherd and I would eventually leave my homeland, save enough to travel... And I'd meet an old man who promised me magic. But I would also meet a That'd woman who I'd fall in love I'd with. I'd be selling snake oil. And eventually he would teach me how to turn things to gold. And uh, I would learn my lesson through life while always thinking of the girl I fell in love with in some major desert biome. I would definitely be a butcher slash cook. You know, for the people who just wanted a quick meal and get back on their boats. You know, you got like grilled lamb, fricassee. For the people who wanted to bring it home and put it on an ice chest, you got everything, you know, ready. The offal separate in a bag. Half a lamb. Yeah. You I'd know, be whatever. a thief. Or maybe an innkeeper. Ooh, maybe both. Ooh. I would definitely work at... I'd be a whore. I'd be a male whore. A gigolo? There wasn't yeah. very high demand for it back in the day. There would be for me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> With this dick? <laughs> I'd be like, I'm coming. <laughs> I come. I'm finna come soon. I'm finna drop some cum. <laughs> oh my god, sexy so much cum. Thank you, daddy. I love your cum. What up, Admiral? I'm trying to get rid of this. I got you. Whoops. Yep. Oh, I made it worse. Make sure my porn doesn't show up. Uh-huh. 
What am I eating? I'm eating corn nuts. That's thank why they're so good. damn crunchy. Dude, thank you so much, bro. You restarted the app, huh? I should have done that. You guys are on the brink of losing it. Ooh, sounds like some bitch boy in chat is projecting his true internal I'm gonna dialogue. lose it. I'm gonna come. You've got mail. Porn history? No, my porn history is not that wild. Um, amateur, honestly. That's it. I don't get too that. I don't get too specific. You know. Dangle, thanks for the bitch. Now, what really gets my night? I, I like it when a Pokemon theme song plays in the background of the video, right where the the, the magic shot happens. I need that. <laughs> Wait, go back to that. Go back five seconds. Go back five seconds. Oh, yeah. I kind of need to pee now, too. Best chat experience forever. <laughs> Getting turned into a copy pasta that's like really sarcastic and like just poking fun at like who the fuck would say this? Can you imagine coming back to a chat and they're still spamming it like for weeks and you're just constantly reminded of how much you failed? Yeah, it'd be pretty cool though. Type one if you're an alien that's actually just on our network, communicating with us as humans. This Campari is awful. I'm sorry, Andy. Ugh. They just didn't do a good mix at all. It tastes like shit. Yeah, half of Chad are aliens. They're like not humans. Like they're actually just aliens up in a spaceship, and they use internet to sort of interact with us and try and gauge us. I wonder what their, what their fish market looks like. Bro, it's humans. Dangling by their ankles, gutted, mm -hmm. headless. Mm -hmm. Some screaming, waiting in line, waiting their future. The aliens going, work, air pointing and like filming it. Yeah. I show up, where's the... It's like, wait. Stuffed, stuffed human intestines with ground, ground human. <laughs> we should do a stream in Rich's romantic room. Yeah, your stream is a banger. I mean, your room is a banger. My room? What is that? Stop. Crouching <laughs> alien, bro. <laughs> bro, you know the Giga Chad uh, video? They need to have that, but a Giga Chad alien. And it's still in black and white. And it's got like a massive jawline. <laughs> Just a gray. <laughs> a Giga Chad gray. Giga Chad gray. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, humans don't find me, I find humans. <laughs> <laughs> Humans aren't ready. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Thank you. It's like pulling the intestines out of a human's mouth while he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get it while it's fresh. <laughs> Just humans and incubators here. What, what in Gloop Orp 6? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the human market on Sector 8 is, is really good. Like, this is a little bit of a deep cut. You expected us to go to Sector 4. I hate 4, how there's but... not more movies like that. Why are all sci-fi movies just like, Oh, it's the mothership. Here's yeah. a 30 minute... Pew, 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 pew. Like, I want to see like people going into like a alien fucking electronic store. To buy like yeah. video games and like have interactions and have like interspersed bits of romantic comedy and just like 
sci-fi dude, nerd just dude, like just play Mass Effect bro <laughs> <laughs> literally you yeah. can even have alien sex too I'll never do that dance scene <laughs> no game was really good uh you would assume that it wouldn't be, but the, the newest Star Wars MMO is a solid playthrough. What? Oh, uh, uh, the Old Republic? It's Swotor, right? Is the Star Wars: The Old Republic? Yeah. yeah. Dude, that that shit is actually fucking. That that shit banged. District Nine, yo, true. District Nine, oh yeah, District Nine was a slammer. Fucking prince. Fucking prince. This is Central Control. Dude, the Galaxy, yeah, well, the, the oldest shit was just, like, a lot of people didn't get to play that. But Swotor was, Swotor is a banger. Swotor actually cracked me it up actually as an MMO was great. Player. I used to play it a lot. It, dude, as an MMO player, it was so funny, though, because they, they it's straight silly. up, they, well, they copy pasta a bunch of shit from other games. Like, if you play it... I was wondering if you could help me find my way out. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I regret to inform you that this next test is impossible. Righto. So first, let's try something easier. Like saving money by switching to Glyco. Oh, you want it easy? You're in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, robotic overlord lady. It was fun and all, but I'm out of here. Well, this is all good. Did it well. Yeah? Put your insurance on easy mode. Switch and save with Geico. The future of our species is at great risk. But what comes next gives people hope. Let's ensure that all of these sacrifices have not been in vain. What's the point in saving humanity if we're going to give up our own? This is an opportunity. Or the end of everything. If you're gonna stream in my room, I'd have to clean up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You got cum everywhere? <laughs> everywhere, bro. Mm -hmm. Dude, the first thing I, I, I do when I get a hotel room is I, I touch all the towels and see which one's softest. That's my you, lady. And then you come out. Yeah. <laughs> you just have an empty bottle of body of <laughs> an empty bottle of body lotion next to your bed with a hand towel. It's all crumbled up. <laughs> I at least have the courtesy to take the hand towel and put it in the bathroom so they don't think that it's the cum rack. <laughs> you don't want to pull a Lakari. <laughs> Lakari be nutting on towels if you let them sleep over. <laughs> Dude, and, and then he'll try oh, to hide it because he, he forgets how loud he is. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> don't let me get down, Lakari! <laughs> 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 it just sounds creepy. It's Wait, what'd you say? I meant to say empty bottle, but I said empty body. <laughs> Wait, like, use the sentence. The sentence. I was gonna say an empty bottle of lotion next to your bed, but I said empty body. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds terrifying. Hey man, seven empty bodies. <laughs> Only a few things really get my rocks off. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Um, <laughs> we are we are insane. Bro, shelled that body out like it was a tauntaun on off. Yeah, um, there's a pretty banging looking place right around the corner that is like shielded in and closed in. Yeah. That's only if you care. I'm sure there's also a bunch of other places. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Doppler effect, right? Mm-hmm. It's really cool that you knew about that. Yeah. Oh, he turned it down. Don't waste a tasty looking drink, it's really bad. You're supposed to put Prosecco and, and club soda, but it just tastes like pure bitterness. Let me try. I like bitter. Maybe daddy will be all finished. Maybe daddy. I feel like watching Chinatown with, uh, mm -hmm. forget about it. With, uh, what's his name, Jack Nicholson? Yep. Yeah, old school Great shit. movie. Forget about it, Jack. It's Chinatown. Dude, what's up with, uh, I talked about this in most noir movies, the protagonist has a broken nose. That's like, funny. Yeah. All, all yeah, of them. It's a very, very common noir trope. Yeah, even but, in Blade Runner, both movies, they get they get broken noses. Yeah. It's like a... Uh, 
It's like a <laughs> Kafka castle. Yeah, thing. it ha- it happens with even like even like uh, like film festival type noir movies that I've watched. Broken Nose. It, it's just like it, you look it, like a mean growling dog when you took a sip of that. Is that bitter so? Hmm. Honestly, it doesn't taste any more bitter than the first one that I had. You're crazy, that bro. Place. But I drink a lot of bitter stuff, so... You're crazy, bro. I, I, I had I mad Campari's, and it was so good in Venice. You'd be crazy right now, bro. Seems you made a growly, rabid dog face when you took your first sip, bro. Yeah, because I forgot that I was drinking. It looks like a fruit juice. I forgot that I was drinking a bitter drink. <laughs> you know when you, like... You know when you... No, you know when you drink one drink, expect it to be, like... Drown it as drink. No, <laughs> you know when you, like, drink a drink a soda, expecting it to be a soda, ends up being a tea, and it, like, fake fucks yeah. your yeah. head yeah. for a yeah. That's you what it was. You ever fuck a chick, and you expect it to be... Oh, never mind. I was Wrong just... way, Mr. <laughs> <Miller. laughs> <laughs> Dude, but dude, yeah, I want to go to Amsterdam and just grab a quick hand. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Yeah, the Bro, thing with I think, uh, I think flying there, just to get a hand job. It's like, dude, the thing with kind of uh, worth it, man. The thing with noir movies, though, it's like a Kafka castle effect. What? What is that? It's it's about like using. There are noir tro- there are noir tropes yeah. that are in every movie. It, it's about uh, it's about showing. The, the damage that, that's been done mentally through a physical avenue. Yeah, and usually... It the, always happens in the second act. The protagonists are always people that ask questions. And so people that ask questions get fucked up. Mm-hmm. And that's usually what happens. Because they end up in the wrong group. Well, that's always like the... Well, the and Cohen, alcohol. Alcohol? The, the, Cohen, the Cohen brothers, uh, they really changed that shit. They show like the... Uh, I love Detective Noir. It, yeah. It's so it's so fun. Even sure when like that. movies disguise themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's just he's <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just realized I was being I was laughing really loud. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting that. I think this is great, Andy. Fuck you. <laughs> Brick, that's what that's what I was thinking. Have you seen Brick? I don't think I've seen Brick. Young, uh, I've seen Brick. Inside. Brick is a slammer. Gor- he gets Gordon Joseph broken. Levitt. Young oh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. I fucking love. That was a good movie. Young Joseph Gordon Levitt, and it's like Did he stop working he's on like independent stuff now. I know he has he some, like a, side projects. Yeah, yeah, he made a whole like he has a website. He made a whole Joe. business for people. You know, collaborative art. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, he has a collaborative that, art is business. That, is that thing still going? Yeah, it's still. He's it was still called, like, talks film about on it or something. It's like yeah, and it was it's, like a red dot. No, it it's like called Hit Record Joe. It's called Hit Record. Is the name of the website. Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. And so he, I, yeah, it's still, but it's like super artsy. It's like Vimeo type. Yeah. People, you know. Yeah. So basically, you post artwork, and people can like. Not, not to be a story, a story Andy again. You have a story with him? No. I hated when he did that shit. Because mm. remember when I worked in music? That was kind of like similar to the idea we were working on. Yeah. And then he did it, and he fucking did a good job. It was like fuck. Yeah, I mean, I gotta give him credit. He uh, he uh, does what he wants to do, yeah. and it's crazy because like I feel like his last movie was Looper. No. God bless Unlimited IRL and Live U. They literally saved my ass. We only have two to share between all of us, and it's been working really well so far. So I've been really lucky. Thank you so much. You're welcome. In four minutes, you have to remove a picture. Four minutes. I have no concept. Oversaturates his social media to the point of where he has like minimal interaction on some of this stuff. Really? Where you're like, man, only 300 likes. It's this Joseph Gordon Levitt who's in Christopher Nolan movie. Just because he puts out so much like yeah. promotion for his website. He's kind yeah. of a little bit of a, of a takes himself serious, Andy, too. Just like, it's not always fun to watch him talk. It's always like, so serious, I'm so serious, I'm doing this, and I'm so serious. And I'm it's, so it's, serious. Always, it's always like, 
it's always art and everything is avant-garde. Yeah. He was. I, I feel like he did some really cool shit but, in the beginning. Like, what was it? Wasn't his breakout movie, like, 300 Days of Summer? Or 500 Days of Summer? Is that what it no, was? No, dude, he was well-known before that. He was, was, he he was like, a teenage actor, wasn't he? Yeah. He was in Third Rock. Yeah. Yeah, he was... What, oh, he was, really? Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I, I grew up watching that. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. Dude, you know what blew my mind? I I totally didn't even know until a couple days ago that the main actor in Office Space plays a soldier in uh, Band of Brothers. One of the main characters in Band of Brothers. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that. talk about, like, polarizing. I really, like... When I was young, I never paid attention to actors. So it's like, it's so nut, like, I really didn't care. They were just adults, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I, I would remember if something was good. I cared about the story a lot, but they were just adults to me. So it's funny, like, going back and talking about a movie that I hadn't seen in a while and being like, holy shit, that's that person? Dude. I I love talking about movies. Unfortunately, it's yeah. not a thing that... It's not a thing that's really big on Twitch, I think. Like, Will Neff is the one who gets away with it at the at the largest level, you know, I think. I don't know if it would be cool, but, like, I know, I know it's not... Neff again. I wonder what it is. 6,500 bit rate. Yeah. Uh, some buffering problem. Saved. Saved. Back. You put the big battery in, right? Not the small one? The big one, yeah. It's cool that Super Stream detects Fs. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I told you this, but I had Synapse enable Go Buffer for your stream. So if there's any audio desync or anything okay. fucked up, you could just do exclamation point sync and it. it and no, it exclamation Go Buffer. Oh, okay. Oh hell yeah. We're back again. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna go try to pay, and then we'll go somewhere. Maybe that's a little more warm. Bro, are you gonna ask the il, il conto? I'm gonna be like, can I pay? Please, can I pay? Jackie, mm-hmm. Jackie. I need to piss. There's a there's a ba- uh, banyo in there, dude. I don't really feel like using that one. Why? It's, it's what, a, once we know we're going, I'm nice. Oh no, Rich is pulling an excuse. Oh no. I'll see you later, Rich. No, I'm gonna. I gotta wait. Cause I don't know where you guys are going. Bro, you can banyo like on me, bro. I can be your banyo. I can be <laughs> your banyo, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I can drink away the pain, oh yeah. I will stand under you forever. You can be right on my It's face. crazy that he made all those huge songs, and now he just makes like Spanish music, and uh, or like uh, like songs in Spanish, and they're significantly bigger than his his international hits. Yeah, like we're, oh, t- we're talking like billions of views, like for the one four billion. You Pull me in your arms tonight. That song actually sounds. Be a hero, Bro, he has a music video with like remember when the small cat beanies were like yeah. in, in like the five o'clock shadow and like in the V-neck. Yeah. Such a crank like. Such a fucking. Why crank was the beanie so popular? Yeah, like I I the beanie is my least favorite. Favorite like, it's so dated. The beanie. Yeah, but I know like, you have it in uh. In Brooklyn, it's or in Brooklyn is common, and in downtown LA, the 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 really short beanie. I I, I do a short beanie with it rolled. When yeah. I, but when I'm cold, yeah, I, like a fisherman's that's, beanie. That, that's like a yeah, that's like that's a city look. Because yeah. it, it's it's also like that in DTLA with a with a pea coat. Yeah, and then straight cut. Yeah, uh, jeans rolled up. Yeah. I like be- uh, bas- or little baseball caps a lot though. I like them too, but. I look too sussy in, in baseball games. Yeah, I look sussy too. Because unless I have a beard, I just have this narrow, gaunt face with a baseball cap. 
It just looks like I'm, I'm going to do a bad thing. Hey, can I hit it? Can I get it? Just one tee? <laughs> yeah, I look no, like a method. When, when I have a baseball cap and glasses on, I look like a, a writer. Like, I, But with this mustache, I look like a porn director. It does. It is a completely different vibe, but it makes you sociable. That's the thing. What? This makes me sociable? Sociable? Yeah, I think mustache is really just like scream a little bit of party. Oh, dude, people love to talk to you when you have a mustache. Yeah. Like, actually, it's a conversation starter. It's it's peacocking. Yeah, it's the same thing when I wear all white. When I had a mullet, everybody wanted to talk to me when I yeah. had a mullet. You think it's it would party. be the opposite. It's party. You, you, you would think it would be the opposite, but when I had a mullet, everybody wanted to talk to me, man. Bro, it, it, it's party. Yeah. I, I'm Do you think Mitch Jones would look great with a mustache? I'm shaving off my mustache when I get home. For just a little bit. You're just a different person. I was like, I, I don't even want to talk to you. I know. Nobody wants to talk to me on stream when I don't have the mustache. Bro, when I hear the actual pigeon sound, it makes me think of Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura. Like, when he's like, because he does that bit. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna not have a mustache for a little bit. God, I need to pee so bad. I think. Uh, I think stream's delayed. <laughs> Damn! I drank this bad boy. This bad boy's stirring my shit up right now. Fuck okay, it, dude. I think Andy's struggling to pay the evil crumb door in there. People well, hate him. Most people love most. I don't, yeah, I, exactly. I've never, I've never met anybody who hates me. Like, well, they, they like to make fun of them, but at the same time... Well, because they're associated with campy 80s like romance videos. Yeah. VHS videos. Bro, I need My to, name's Dan. I need to be so bad. I love long walks on the on the beach. And I like to have a little bit of fun. I want to I wanna have my mullet back one more time. I would say that I would mull it with you, but I don't know if I can accept that vibe. I don't think it would look as good on you as it does on me. There's something about my mustache that makes the mullet look good. Like, my mullet actually banged. Bro, you can pee in there. I'm, I'm actually going to go pee in there. No, no, no. Don't no, leave me with the camera bro. by myself while I have to pee. Please don't do that. That's so inconsiderate. Why? That's so fucked up, man. Bro. That you would do that. You won't use the barn yard. Oh no. Rich is going back to the fucking hotel to piss. Inconvenient little bastard. Inconvenient little pussy ass bastard. There you go. He's coming back now. His bit's over. I'm gonna go and fucking barn you it up. I need to pee so bad. Where's, where is no, it? I'm gonna go inside. No, and go do, to the do not do it. I'll turn off the stream. Rich. No, oh, you're gonna deal with Andy then. I'm gonna show you that the manual can be used. I fucking hate Seer, man. I don't know, probably. What is that? I'm gonna give this to someone. What is it? A bunch of sweets. Oh, that's cool. They have, um. For once in my life, I wanna be someone. <laughs> is this yours? No. Oh. That's yours, I think. We can just leave it here then. <coughs> oh fuck, it's cold. When you know where you're going, I'm gonna run back to the hotel to pee pee poo poo. Maybe I'll go to the hotel with you because I wanna get a jacket. Alright. Fuck, it's cold, bro. I'm eight uh, with the braids. You guys want some free snacks? Free snacks? Free free snacks? Free snacks? Free snacks? Free snacks? Free snacks? A sucking dick for free. A sucking dick for free. It only I'll put the Me You 
You guys want some free snacks? No? It's so hard to give shit away sometimes. Here you go, you want some free snacks? Okay. <laughs> hey bro, you want some free snacks? It's for you. I think I'm a scammer. Sheesh. You guys want some free snacks? No It's free. Free. Free snacks. You guys want some free snacks from this place? It's free. I'm not a scammer. You can have it. You guys want this? It's free. <laughs> Bro, in LA, people snatch this shit up real quick. I know Rich is jealous. He's He's like, I want it. No one's going to take it. I'll open it up. <laughs> you guys want free snacks? No, no, okay. Maybe this guy will take it. Excuse me. Free snacks for you? That's for you. 